I just was like, go, 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 go. And I was like, I've never just like sat down for a second. So I quit, um, did not have a job lined up. And because I knew I had money saved up, I had already evaluated my situation. And I was like, what do I really want to do with my life? Right. I was like, what do I want to like, who am I? Like, what do I want to be doing? What are the things that I love? Why did I stay there for so long? Like what, what a part, what about the job did I like, did I actually enjoy? Right. And again, like I said, it was the, the fact that I was motivating and inspiring other people that like when I would teach people something and then I saw a light bulb go off for them, I'd be like, Oh my God, I love that you like, I was able to help you figure that out. And then they would like, you know, take off and like, now a lot of the people that I managed are district managers now. Like even though I wasn't, I'm not at the job anymore, they they stayed because they loved the job, they loved everything that the company was about. They were able to get promoted quickly and now they're there and I'm like, oh, I just love that they're doing what they love to do and I was like, um, I helped them do that, right? So I love seeing like light bulbs go off for people and I know that it's like, okay, well what do I do? What kind of job do you get then? Like what, what does that even mean, right? So. I had to figure that out. It took me a long time to actually even arrive where I'm at today. So that was like eight, nine years ago at this point. I quit and I was like, okay, what do I now? Like, let me just take a month and I'm not going to think about anything. I'm just going to take a month, work out, go to the sauna, go on hikes, spend time with my boyfriend at that time and just like be, right? Um, I really got, dived deeper into my spirituality, um, really dived deeper into, you know, like meditation and I always was very spiritual, but I didn't really have like a spiritual practice. So I would say like when I turned 28, it, it, I like started to actually like really have like start to develop some kind of like routine and ritual. And then now I'm going to be 37 in two weeks and I have an actual ritual, like meaning not like, Oh, this is my morning routine. No, like Ritual meaning like this is who I am. Like I don't care how tired I am, how sad I am, how pissed I am, how happy I am, how joyful. If I'm if I'm gonna I gotta get on a flight, I'm always doing my ritual. Even if I'm like I have to like I have to um like I love to like just sit and like really meditate. But say if I have to like be up and get somewhere at five in the morning, like a, go on a fl a flight. I'll actually still do my ritual, but I'll be doing it at the same time, right? So I'll, I'll have like my um, like meditations going on on YouTube. Um, I'll be like just talking to God as I'm packing. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a ritual. It's a part of me. Like even right now, like this is this is something like from my heart, from God to share with you guys, right? So um, thank you for the compliments. So um, let me just see. Do, do, do. How do I? I love pushing the block button. Okay. So. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> it just falling. <laughs> I just had to laugh at that one. <laughs> it's so funny because this is this is all my hair, you know. This is all my hair. All of it. <laughs> that probably made you more mad. But anyways, okay. So, just got deeper into my spirituality, okay? Um, and so, now a month goes by. I'm like, okay, like, you know, my, my bank account's not dwindling, but I'm like, okay, I have, I have this chunk of money saved up. I don't want to just blow through it. So what do I want to do? So I, I was like, okay, this is my next stage. So again, come up with a game plan. I was like, who do I want to be? I want to be a, somebody that's into health and fitness. So I wrote that. I was like, I will never compromise that ever again. I will never, cause I wasn't able to work out the way I wanted to. I was eating really bad during that time. Cause of course, when you hate working out, um, working at your job or when you hate working at a job, like you don't, you just kind of like, we'll have pizza or pasta. Cause you're like, Ooh, I, well, I hate coming here, but I'm just about to smack off some pizza to make myself feel better. Right. So my, my, um, my stomach is starting to growl. Um, I need to actually eat speaking of pizza, <laughs> but I was like, I really want to be a healthy fit person. Right. 
So I was like, no matter what, I'm always going to only get jobs where I can actually eat the way that I want to eat. Okay. Actually be able to do the level of fitness that I want to be able to do. I don't want to feel too tired or bogged down or too stressed out or, um, you know, not want to actually like you know, when I'm at the gym, I'm just kind of like here, but I'm not really working out. I'm just kind of like thinking about how much I hate my job and how I have to go back the next day. I was like, I'm never going to do that again. When I'm working out, it's my time to really zone out, really feel into my body, really, you know, push myself. Like, I don't want to have to worry. About so that was number one to me. Okay. Number two, I was like, it has to be, I have to be doing something where I'm like, I feel fulfilled, right? I have to be doing something where I feel fulfilled. Like, I can't just, like, go and, because I was, like, showing my hair, now I'm, like, now it's in a weird position. <laughs> um, I was, like, I have to feel fulfilled, okay? So, and I don't want to get flagged, because sometimes when they see, like, any boobage, they, like, flag. So, just bear with me on, on me messing with my hair. Um, so, so, health, fitness, and then I wanted to feel fulfilled, all right. So, and I want to travel. So fulfilled. I want to travel. I, I want to be able to be, get into my health and fitness. I don't want to be in high stress. So I was like, okay, well, what are, what are jobs that are like that? Cause I can't go back into being a district manager or um, being like any kind of management. I don't want to do that. I'm okay. Manage like coaching people, developing people. Um, but it can't be managing people through metrics that I don't even care about. <laughs> like, I don't care if you're, if the hangers are spaced a certain way, like, it, but then it's like, I'm getting on you for not putting the hangers in a certain way. Like, it just was, I was like, what am I doing? Like, am I in the twilight zone? So, um, I was like, I'm never doing that again. So I knew that you can get in LA, there's a lot of giggy type of jobs, like gigs, right? Like, you're not full time, but like they pay like really high amounts <clears throat> to work like a gig or two here and there. So I did that. Um, I was like a bartender, um, at a couple of like really cool events. I worked on the red carpet for like some movie premieres. I worked in lu the luxury car brand industry and did brand ambassading. Um, I did like some promo modeling stuff. I, um, I just did jobs where I knew that I could, I could manipulate my schedule. Like I'd be like, okay, well, I'm down to work Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right? Like, I don't want to work all Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'm going to work one, uh, or I'm, I'm Monday through Friday. Um, I had a job where.